finding the square root of 57. In order to find the square root of 57, we first need to review the math rule that the square root of a times b, where a and b are both regular numbers, equals the square root of a times the square root of b. Now we have to do the same thing with 57, so we need to find the factors of 57. So we know that 3 goes into 57 because 5 plus 7 equals 12, and 12 is a factor of 3. Now we also know 19 goes into 57 because 3 times 19 gives us 57. Now we can use the same rule as defined above to find the square root of 57 by saying that it's equal to the square root of 3 times 19, and then we can then separate out that 3 and 19 into two separate square roots to get the square root of 3 times the square root of 19. Now this will be our simplified answer as the square root of 3 and the square root of 19 are not perfect squares, so they do not give us a more simplified answer. However, we can also estimate the square root of 57 by looking at perfect squares that are around 57. The first one is 7 squared, which is 49. The second one is 8 squared, which is 64. Now we can see that 57 lies between 49 and 64. So now we can say the square root of 49 is less than the square root of 57, which is less than the square root of 64, because 49 is less than 54, which is less than 64. Now we can replace the square root of 49 with 7, because 7 squared gives us 49. And then we can replace the square root of 64 with 8, because 8 squared gives us 64. Now we know the square root of 57 lies between 7 and 8. In order to find what whole number we can round the square root of 57 to, we need to find what value is closer to 57, either 49 or 64. So let's take a look. 57 minus 49 gives us 8, while 64 minus 57 gives us 7. We can see that because 64 is closer to 57, the square root of 57 is going to be estimated to around 8.